Jamie, I suppose everybody puzzled as to how we lost that game, uh, given how much territory and possession we had. Yeah, well, we, we knew um, coming into this game that Scotland had won the last game and uh, come close previously with, with very little possession. So we knew what kind of team they were, that they, they were definitely weren't out of it um, at half time. And, um, you know, we, we, we missed a couple of opportunities converting try scoring opportunities and uh, yeah it's, it's disappointing. I suppose time and time again right down to, to the last opportunity there we had some chances we had some opportunities we could not make them come off. Yeah we, we um, there was a lot of a lot of positives out there you know it was disappointing not to convert some of those opportunities and um, you know Scotland took theirs. Obviously we had a couple of new caps today and, and an inexperienced uh, out half I suppose in Paddy Jackson. I thought Paddy did very well, he brought it to the line um, pretty much like we asked him to, uh, himself and Luke, uh, especially in the first half. Um, I thought their decision making was very good um, and I thought our, our back line was, um, you know, made, made the most of it. You know, when we provide a quick ball for them, they, they definitely caused some threats. What about our discipline, Jamie? That, that was costly at times too. Um, yeah, you know, we, we, uh, we gave away some penalties and, um, you know, it cost us especially in our half. Um, I mean, it was 8 nil half time and, and they converted four, uh, four penalties. So, um, you know, that's something that we'll have to look at. And again, something to look at, I suppose, is the set piece, line out and scrum also at times just not giving us the opportunities we needed. Um, again, yeah, especially in the first half, some opportunities that uh, we missed. Um, we didn't we didn't convert on and, and, and that's disappointing and um, we work hard in our set piece and uh, yeah that's obviously a, a disappointing thing I know we've had a lot of injuries ahead of this game but uh, when you think back to the optimism there was after that day in Cardiff uh, where where are Ireland now um, I think actually we're, we're in a bit of a good well a good place but a mixed place um, you know we, we, we we're putting ourselves into position we're creating opportunities for ourselves and in Wales we converted them um, last week, you know, we didn't, and, and unfortunately this week, you know, we converted some of them, and, but not all of them. And uh, that's what Test Rugby is, you know, you take your chances when they come. So how, how frustrating is it for you then that we're, we're two, uh, two defeats out of three now? Very, you know, we, um, we've got an ambitious bunch of, of players in there. Uh, experience and you know guys with not too much of experience but an ambitious bunch all the same and it's it's never nice uh, never nice losing especially when you're playing for Ireland. What's left in the championship for us now? Um, you know now now it's all about lads playing for a bit of pride I suppose there's two games left that we got to pick ourselves up for and um, the big challenge ahead of us. Do you think you can do that? Yes definitely you know it's 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 going to be sore um, there's going to be some sore bodies in there it's 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 a tough pill to take it's a it's a very uh, you know it's a very down change room right now but you know we have a couple of days to get over it